I'm going to review how to add a domain name into Office 365. As you can see, I'm in Office 365, and you want to go to the admin portal. And then once we get to the admin portal, you want to go down to domains. And it looks like I've already started the setup on the one I'm going to use, so I'm just going to go to Start Setup, although you would start usually with the domain and add domain, but I'm going to continue my setup here. So we're right at the beginning, step one. It wants us to put in the domain name, which I've already done. So we put the domain name in. Then right here, because my domain name is with GoDaddy, it will do it automatically for me. But we'll go ahead and do it manually. Use a text record to verify you own this domain. And here's our text record. So we'll go to GoDaddy. Sorry, my computer's slow. With the recording software, it runs slower. All right, so it looks like I'm already signed in here. That's great. I'm gonna go to manage my domains. Well, phew. All right, stock cloud. DNS zone file. All right. So we we need to add a record. Select the record type. There we go. Host. It's going to be the at sign, meaning it's the root domain. Text value. It. I'm going to copy and paste it. One hour. Time to live. Finish. Okay. Tension action needed. Your one changes aren't final until you save them. Let's go ahead and make sure it's in here. There it is. Save changes. Alright, your zone file has been updated. DNS resolution may take up to 48 hours to reflect changes. Not in this situation, because Office 365 is going to query the domain name, and because there's no records, it's going to query the root DNS provider and get the record. So it'll be able to resolve it right away. Okay, they verified that I own it next. Now they want to add some users. Add new users. You can add in new users right here. We're not going to do that. So we're just going to hit skip this step. Next we'll determine which DNS records you need. So we're going to do Outlook and Link. Once again, it'll do these records for me because I have GoDaddy, but I'll do them manually. Oh, that'll take too long. Let's let's see, let's see how they do it. Add records. Okay. Let's see if we can recover here. All right, it's all right though. It's already in process. There we go. All right, now we'll add your DNS records to GoDaddy. That would be great. Add records. Pop up should. 
here. There we go. Should be GoDaddy asking for our login information. So it's basically passing my information along. Login to GoDaddy. Confirm access. Office 365 is requesting permission to make changes to your domain. StockCloud7.com. Click, click accept to allow. Oh, sweet. So DNS records we removed. They basically removed the two mail server records because obviously we don't need those because we just added this MX record. And that's something that we would have to do manually that it was already input into the DNS provider, the zone file. So it automatically removed those, which is good because if it didn't, it wouldn't be good. Finish. So there we go. Need to make that my default. Now it's my default. Now I'm going to go change. I think it might do it. Well, let's take a look. I'm going to change my username. Primary email address. Should give us a drop down list of all the domains we have. Other edit email address. Set up multiple addresses for users. No, we don't want to do that. Oh yeah, we do. So we'll add it and then we'll make it the primary. I'll do Travis. Set as primary. Perfect. Travis at stockcloud7.com. Add. We're about to change this person's signing information. When you change a primary email address, the username will also be changed. So my username on the portal is going to change. So all the all the various sign-ins that I have, my email and everything will have to be changed. We recommend you tell this person. Yes, that would that would be good. All right, save. Now we should need to sign back in. Finish changing user ID, sign out. There we go. So let's go ahead and sign out here. Okay, let's sign in with our new username. Oops, made it Travis. That's unusual for me. I usually do T stock. I'm still in the trial version. And let's do it. Let's do a test email to that email address. Ooh, OneDrive attachments. Got to try that. Pictures in line. Well, that's not or attachments or OneDrive files. Let's try that. There we go. Wow, computer, OneDrive, my files. That's cool. 
I mean, I forgot. I don't have much in there. Oh, I see. So that is. All right. Well, that about wraps it up. I hear my boy calling me. Thanks for watching. Please leave comments.